think your Windows login is safe? Think again. Passwords alone won't protect you from hackers. But what if your login needed a secret, one-time password only you have? A one-time password, OTP, is a temporary, automatically generated code that is valid for a single login attempt and changes every few seconds to enhance security. Sounds secure, right? In this video, I'll show you how to enable two-factor authentication on Windows using Rohos Logon Key and Google Authenticator, so only you can access your PC. Let's set it up in just a few minutes. Stick around. Step 1. Installing Rohos Logon. Download the software. Open your web browser and visit the official Rohos Logon Key website. Download the setup file. Run the installation. Double-click the installer and follow the setup wizard. Just so, now that we understand why passwords alone aren't enough, let's take a look at how we can add an extra security layer to our Windows login using two-factor authentication. With the app installed, we can now connect it to our workstation. This means that even if someone knows your Windows password, they'll still need a time-sensitive OTP from your phone to log in. Complete the installation and launch Rohos Logon Key. Step 2. Installing Google Authenticator on Android or iPhone. Open the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Search for Google Authenticator and install it. Step 3. Applying Settings and Testing Pen Rohos Logon Key. Go to Options. Select Google Authenticator as the authentication method. Set up Google Authenticator. Use this OTP whenever you log into Windows. If needed, you can share this OTP with a trusted person to grant them temporary access. A QR code will appear. Scan it with your Google Authenticator app. Using one-time password, OTP, the Google Authenticator app will generate a six-digit code, OTP, that changes every 30 seconds. Now, let's configure the settings to enable two-factor authentication on your workstation. In today's world, cyber threats are everywhere and passwords alone aren't enough. Now go to the options and set up the emergency logon. Emergency logon is a backup access method that allows you to log in if you lose access to your two-factor authentication device. It works by setting up a security question and answer during configuration. Select the number of attempts for emergency logon. You can type your desired attempts for emergency logon in case you don't have access to your OTP. Don't share this emergency logon with anyone. This ensures a secure fallback option without compromising security. After setting up the emergency login, we need to list all the users requiring the OTP. I prefer it for all the users. Click on the option to type the password along OPT to enhance your security. Additionally, you can select to generate the log file to keep the history of logins. Test the login. Log out of Windows. Enter your password and when prompted, enter the six digit code from Google Authenticator. If the code is correct, you'll be logged in securely. And that's it. Now your Windows login is protected with two-factor authentication. Even if someone knows your password, they can't access your PC without your Google Authenticator code. Now we will see how to register the free trials of this software. We need to enter the product key that comes along with the software. Just enter the license key and the software will be registered. If this video helped, give it a like and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Stay secure and I'll see you in the next one.